What is going on everyone? Tena here and today in this video we're gonna talk about how we can build Clara and we're gonna talk about her team comps and everything. So if you by any chance appreciate this video or thought this video was helpful make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about Clara. I know that a lot of you guys have lost 50-50 and got Clara here and there and heard that she's great and everything but how great right? That was also my question so I have built my Clara finally. I have 100 speed, 36-42 attack, 62-156 crit and we have 63% physical damage boost for the light cone we're using her best in slot one you can use something else called a secret vow this is so op i don't even know why this is four star but basically if you superimpose this to five you get 80 percent damage bonus that is crazy her traces looks like this i have unlocked all the nodes i have kept all the skills at level 888 and level five for basic attack because i think that is a great stopping point for a showcase and for the relics i have physical set and the inner cell soto i am fully aware i cannot get the benefit from using the ultimate because she's not really doing damage with her ultimate right so we only get the benefit from the follow attack so keep that in mind it is still more valuable for you to go for a crit rate more than attack percentage so there's that and my relics looks like this And then the place we are going to showcase her is going to be in Mary of Chaos, floor 10, which is pretty good, right? Compared to people showcasing stuff in the Space Dragon. <laughs> Scam showcase. Anyways, we're going to bring her to a boss that is like really bad for Clara. I mean, Guardian Shadow is weak to physical, so we can probably see what happens. The team comp that I recommend using is going to be Clara, Tingyun, and I'm using Natasha just because she's physical. I can probably use Bailu because she has this passive where she has 35% chance to resist the CCs. So having Natasha is going to be like double condom. Because we're going to be using Silver Wolf, I'm going to reduce one extra RNG in Weakness Break. And let's take a look at it together. <laughs> So this team, I really don't like because Clara is the one that's doing the most damage. When that happens, there are some enemies that buff themselves and don't attack. When that happens, Clara's DPS goes pshh. And also, that is exactly the reason why I'm using attack boots instead of speed. Okay, there's a free counter. Nice. Good damage. We can finally use our ultimate here. Attack me. Okay, physical perhaps. Actually, that's 100% physical, yes. Uh-oh, my Tingyun. It's okay. It's okay, we don't even need Tingyun. And the reason why I built my Clara to be like full DPS is because she has this damage reduction from using her ultimate, so... Oh my gosh, she got CC'd. Put a defense break. We're just here to see the damage, you know? The practical damage that we see. Oh my god, 47k. Ah, she got CC'd! Wait, what? How did she break herself out of that? Oh, she got attacked. There's also a 35% chance for her to cleanse herself, right? So that worked. That's great. There are a lot of marks here and there. Okay. You know, that's big, I would say. So this is why I prefer using Bailu. <laughs> but can you see that? That boss is almost dead just because of Clara. We didn't even have Tingyun's buff, right? So let's revise this team. Let's just make it so that we just want to withstand all those damage, right? So remove Silver Wolf. And I would like to use passive DPS like Jingyuan. How about this? This could be better. And then because she doesn't want to take as many turns as possible, we're not using Bronya. We can't even use her buff fully, right? Okay, I feel so much better about this. Let's try to buff Clara this time. Okay, counter. Ooh, attack. Yes. Yes! Resisted! Oh my god. Stop attacking my Tingyun. <laughs> Clara is really great. Ah! 
could have used my ultimate. My finger was too slow. Attack. Take this! Yes. Oh, phase two. Use it again! Refresh it! Those who use basic attack will get punished. No problem. And obviously, Clara wants to use the basic attack, right? So she gets hit so that she can counter. Alright. Counter. Break this thing. Okay, now it starts to hurt a lot because we don't have that passive going on, right? We need to have the ultimate damage reduction. Let's heal everyone. Hey, I wanted to have this active before I got hit. Slow finger. 60k. Ooh. So they both have the mark of counter, right? The mark of counter allows you to do 65k damage. It is amazing. When it comes to damage rise, it is like on par with Sealy and Jingyuan in many cases. And especially against these kind of aggressive monsters, right? They attack you a lot, they slow you down. When there are a lot of monsters that delays your turn, Clara shines a lot. The Lightning Lord is taking the turn. Let's go ahead and buff Jingyuan. Okay, so that was really easy because we had a stable healer, right? And yes, you could also be using March 7th so that you can get the free counters. Because if you use Clara with like a tanker, right? That's like the worst team possible. Preservation has higher aggro compared to Clara. So especially with Jeppard, right? He has higher chance of getting hit. And he has a passive where he takes more hits, right? So you don't want to pair her up with Jeppard. And you may use March 7th, but she has this auto issue. March 7th is going to use that shield onto somebody who has the lowest HP. And then your Clara is not going to get hit. And then it's not going to work as intended, right? It's just still okay for you to use March 7th, but for March 7th, other than Clara, I don't know what would be the merit for having the shield on everyone, right? I don't know, man. I don't think it really makes sense. But let's talk about the Eidolons. There's something that I really want to unlock. So I have showed you how much damage you can do with the Mark of Counter, right? So if I have unlocked this, after using my skill, it doesn't remove the Mark of Counter. That's her skill. She puts the Mark of Counter when somebody attacks you and gets countered. But then when you use your skill, you do like extra damage and then you remove that Mark of Counter. However, if you have this Eidolon, it doesn't. So every time when she takes a turn, when she uses her skill, it does shit ton of damage. And then there is E2. After using the ultimate, attack increases by 30% for two turns. This is also very great because that means that your counter after using ultimate is going to be increased damage because your attack is going to be increased by 30%. When that is the case, I can probably see that if you by any chance encounter a monster in the future that takes too many turns and then there's no chance for your Clara to take the turn, then this can come into handy and then you can give her like speed boots. I would just say just keep the attack boots and just enable this Eidolon because right now there's nothing sophisticated yet in the game for us to think about the different builds. If you have a build, right? If you have the set, if you have the right main stats and everything, then it should work. The E4, after Clara is hit, the damage taken by Clara is reduced by 30%. This effect lasts until the start of her next turn. So you have seen that Clara has this damage reduction from her ultimate, right? But when she doesn't have that active, then she loses that damage reduction. So if by any chance you get unlucky and the opponent like hits you really hard, your Clara could die. And if you by any chance don't have Bailu in the team, then you either need to build your healer really, really tanky and be able to heal you a lot or just somehow make her tankier, right? So I would say E4 is going to help her survive a little bit better. And then E6. After all allies are hit, Sparrow also has 50% fixed chance to trigger a counter on the attacker and mark them with the Macro counter. When using ultimate, the number of enhanced counters increased by one. This is going to be really OP, right? Instead of just having two counters, after using her ult, she instead gets three. So you have seen how much damage she can dish out by doing the counter after using the ult. This is going to be the game changer. But then again, she still has the flaw where I have experienced when I was using her in like low memory of chaos, when the enemy just buffs the enemy and it just lets that turn go and without attacking, then Clara's damage just goes down. So because of that, having additional DPS is going to be 
be the best team for her. And then using Jeopard is not good. Using March 7th, in my opinion, is not good. Getting some counters here and there is nice, but it's not that strong. So instead of putting March 7th just for Clara, I would say put like a really solid healer so that you can keep your whole team alive. And no Bronya as well. Tingyun is the best one because she is very skill efficient. Like the way she buffs really fits. It really matches really well with the uh, Clara's playstyle, right? So if you use her well, then you can dish out a lot of damage by using her ultimate onto Clara when it is time for her to get hit. Asta also works okay. It's just that she buffs speed. So if that really aligns with your team, then it's still going to be usable. It's okay. And that's about it. It is okay for you to go full DPS. She can stay alive. It's just she's a little bit tankier than the other DPS after she uses her ultimate so that's also a very good thing she dishes out a lot of damage it is conditional yes but that is what makes this character so fun right in a place where you have to take a lot of hits and she can attract hits tank for the team and then dish out a lot of damage it's very good so one bad thing about her is that farming for a physical set is kind of garbage so unless you're farming for a break set by any chance but you do have option to build your silver wolf with thief set so keep that in mind that you can also utilize that if you don't have any passion to dedicate yourself to farm for your silver wolf then i would say thief set is also very efficient i focus on building my dps first i think that is the best way to go farming for thief set only so that your silver wolf can do a lot of break effect i think that's a total waste so first build your dps and then you can talk about something else because i have built three dps so far clara Seely, and jing yuan I'm now going to move on to... I'm thinking about either Herta or Himeko. But let me know in the comment section what I should build for. Whatever comment has the most likes, I would probably go for that. Either Himeko or Herta. I'm thinking about going Himeko though. Let me know about this E0S1 Clara showcase. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you so much for your support. And make sure you follow me on Twitter because I like Twitter, okay? As a content creator, we're kind of forced to be there. I know it's cringe, but please support me there. It's very... I'll be sharing all the stuff that I found out about Honkai Star Wheel first on Twitter. And then make a video so if you don't want to miss out on any of those small informations here and there make sure you follow me there all right thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one adios